Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, reviews, and sometimes even tutorials. Today, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of items from Princess One Spoon, which is a store that is located in Tokyo, Japan. I was able to get all of these items through my proxy, who is a buyer that walks around Tokyo, Japan, purchases things, adds an additional percentage, and then ships them over to me in a really big box. I usually wait to get a box shipped every like three to four months or so, just so I can like rack up a bunch of stuff and then get it shipped over that is way cheaper than getting a bunch of smaller boxes shipped over. So today, these are the items that I have. I've already unboxed them for you, and I was going to go through and show you each of the items, give them a little bit of a review, and let you know down below how much these are priced at. Princess One Spoon is great because if you go to that store anytime during like the summer months this year, you will most likely find these in stock. They tend to keep stock really, really well at their stores, and they also rotate the stock too. So halfway through through the year, you'll probably see some kind of new items being shown off and being advertised through Princess One Spoon. But chances are, if you go there over the summertime this year, if you just happen to be traveling to Japan, you'll be able to find these. So the first item that I got is this little stackable box. Uh, each of these boxes features the same kind of print and they have this pretty satin material on the outside of them. Uh, I really like these box because they are foldable so you can flatten them, which is great for like storage if you're not using Using them, but they also stack really well and they're pretty sturdy too because they're cardboard on all sides. So these in particular feature the moon stick and they have Sailor Moon's Fuku outfit with the bow, the heart compact, and then they also have the stripes part of the uniform that she wears and her choker, which is super cute. There's also a whole bunch of stars all around it and it's really pastel. It also has all of her wands at the top, which is cool. Like here's the Kaleida moon scope, which is cool. So it's really adorable. I like the art print and it's something that I haven't seen before. Now if you open one of these boxes you'll notice that the inside is kind of a like nylon material almost uh, but each of them is this hot pink color and they all have these little flaps so you can cover the outside uh, opening pretty well. So these are really good boxes for storing like collectibles and stuff like that in them. This second box is pretty much the same exact thing except in this case it's a little bit wider. Uh, this one is made the exact same way it's nice and structured and it also goes flat in case I need to store them ever. This last box that I have here is open on the top of it but it's also nice and structured so I would probably stack this one on top of those and then like put a bunch of I don't know maybe I'll put like all of my fabric items in here or something that would line up quite nicely in one of these. Now this year at Princess One Spoon they really focused on things that you could use with your laundry uh, so that is why I have these two which are great for delicates. So if you're out there and you have never used used one of these before. This is basically a teeny tiny little zipper pouch that you can put things in. Uh, so it's shaped like that, which is wonderful because it can fit things like uh, women's undergarments, for example. You can also put like um, socks in here or nylons or pretty much whatever you want can fit in one of these little guys. And then you just toss it in the laundry with the rest of your stuff and it comes out and all of your things are washed and they haven't snagged on anything else because they are protected inside these cute little bags. So I actually got two of these bags because my old ones were getting kind of dingy and gross. So I decided to go ahead and replace those with new ones. And both of these feature those pretty prints. So we have Sailor Moon's print right here, just like the boxes. And I also got an Outer Senshi print, which has all of the Outer Senshi talismans. It also features the color scheme of the Outer Senshi. And it has this cute purple zipper around the sides. Also with that, I got some larger bags, which can also be used for the same things. Uh, these are really great for putting like larger delicate items inside of. So I got a small bag and then I also got the large bag, which came with it. Both of these have zippers on the front of them and they also feature the same kind of print. However, the large bag has Sailor Moon's silhouette on it. It's the same thing with the Outer Senshi version. This one also has the same print as that smaller Delicates bag, so perfect for the laundry. And then this one has a silhouette of the Outer Senshi on it. Now, I believe there was a third print that all of these items came in, but I don't remember correctly what the print looked like. I think it featured Chimby Moon, but don't quote me on that. I also got this really cute little bag. This bag features a simple gold zipper. It has a little fake pearl that you can open it with, and then it also has a 
crescent moon for the other zipper closure. It has some loose threads on it, so not made that great. Um, hopefully it was inexpensive. I don't remember how much I paid for it. But when you open it, it does have a whole bunch of little slots that you can put things in. Um, this would be great for like toiletries or makeup or anything like that. I'm not sure what I'll use this for quite yet, but I'm sure I will find something to use it for. <laughs> I always do. And lastly for this group of items is this adorable little scarf. So this scarf or handkerchief or whatever you want to use it, it's, it's very large. It is satin uh, and you'll notice that I chose the outer senshi print. I thought it was really pretty. I like the pastel colors and I like how shiny it is. So I think this would go really good as like a backdrop up here or something like that. It is kind of similar to previous Princess One Spoon ones like this scarf that you see here. However, this one is a lot larger too. So this also would look really cute if I tied it on a purse. I just thought of that. That would, that would be super cute. It's like a bandana. Just a few other little small items that I got from the Princess One Spoon collaboration. I got this cute little case which also features Sailor Moon's artsy print on the front of here. The back of it says the moonlight is a messenger of love. And when you open it, it's got this nice pink velvet inside of it. This is a super cute keychain that I was able to get from the Princess One Spoon collaboration. Uh, this keychain was the only one that I really wanted out of all the keychains that they had there. It features uh, Princess Serenity's dress and it has a few little sparkles in there, which is cute, and it's mildly transparent, not super transparent, so it's kind of like stained glass in a way. It's really pretty. Uh, the back of it, though, if you turn it over, it's super sparkly. I really like the sparkle of the back of it. I think it's so pretty. And I would probably put this on, I have a Princess Serenity bag that I think this would look super cute on, so I might put it on there. I also decided to purchase this hair tie, which features Sailor Moon's Fuku bow. It has a cute little gemstone in the corner of it and her compact in the center. It's made out of this really pretty material. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm sure there's an artist out there that can tell me, because I I don't I don't do a lot of like creative artist stuff but I like this a lot I like that it is uh, tied on there with a piece of plastic so it won't like come off it's not glued on or anything I think it would look super cute in my hair what do you think and last but not least and I'm not sure if I got this from the princess one spoon store or if it came from the Sailor Moon store but it's this really pretty uh, very like thick material for this keychain it's a keychain that says Sailor Moon on one side it has a crescent moon and then it also has a silhouette of Luna. So I thought it was very, very pretty. It's also nice and heavy and durable. It just fell out of its little wrappers. So there's that. So just a cute little keychain that I can add to my collection. All right, everybody, that is it for my Princess One Spoon collaboration uh, haul. There's quite a few things in here, but I'm so, I think the thing I'm most excited about, honestly, is like these big storage boxes because they're really pretty and they're super cute. And I just have so many collector items now that I don't know where to put them all so I definitely need some storage boxes to put all of my things in. So let me know what you think. If there is any item here that you want to see reviewed in more detail, let me know. And what is your favorite from this haul? I would love to know that as well. So comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. If you are watching this video right now and you are not subscribed yet, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Don't worry, I will wait for you to subscribe. Man, today has been a very long day and I am super tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and I'll see you in another video very shortly. So stick around. I'm Sailor Snubs, Jane.